Good morning, koalas. It's Julie again. Again, I'm helping out for Felicia, and I'm here in Koala Corner. And uh, today we're going to talk more about culinary arts. And today we actually are going to do a worksheet that you'll find in your book, and it's called Chef's Tools for Counting. The first thing we're going to do is put our name on the sheet that looks like this. And then, so I, I forgot to mention, you'll need markers and the sheet. So the only two supplies you'll need. So I'm going to put my name on the sheet. Um, and the next thing we're going to do, um, you'll see my name. There's a spot for your name up in the corner. And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to take a few minutes and we're going to color this first picture is a picture of a countertop blender or mixer. And I'm gonna go ahead and color that. I have a red mixer at home, so I'm gonna color mine red. But you can color it any color you want. But red is nice and bright. And my bowl is usually silver, so I'm gonna do it blue. This is the bowl that sits in the mixer. And then what we're going to do, we're going to count how many mixers are there in this picture. Are there one, three, or two? This is a simple one we start with, and obviously there's one. And so what we're going to do is color. It says fill in the circle. So we're going to color in the circle for the number one. And then we're going to go on to our next one. And our next picture is, hold on a minute. Our next picture is of um, measuring spoons. And we need measuring spoons to use to put ingredients into our mixer. And so I'm going to color mine green. And measuring um, spoons come in different sizes. Usually there's a tablespoon, which is the biggest spoon. And then there's a teaspoon. And then they have all sorts of other ones, like half a teaspoon, half a tablespoon. Um, so you have all these different measurements. And usually, how much you put into ingredients is really important. So you have to read a menu, and then you, if it says a half a tablespoon of salt, you use the half tablespoon from your measuring spoons, and that's how much salt you put in. So I've colored all mine red and green. And the next thing we're going to do, you're going to notice we have a little education thrown in here because we have to do a little of counting with this. So we're going to count and color in the circle for how many sets of measuring spoons there are. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and you got it, six. So our numbers down here are four, five, and six. So I'm going to color in six. There you go. We're halfway through our, our paper. And next, we're going to look at oven mitts. So down in this corner, we have oven mitts. And I'm going to make mine brown oven mitts because they have chocolate cake and brownies all over them. And what do we use oven mitts for? Does anybody know? Not for playing out in the snow. Not for wearing in cold weather. We use them for one reason. And usually it's only our parents that use them, not when we're kids. We don't use them as much. But when our parents use them, they use them when they're taking hot things out of the oven. So these are really big sort of mitten looking things. And they protect people's hands from getting burnt when they're taking hot stuff out of the oven. 
So I've colored mine all in brown. And now we're going to count how many of these we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total. And now we're going to color in the circle. This is a nine, an eight, and a ten. And we're going to go ahead and color in the eight circle because we have eight oven mitts. Keep our hands nice and um, safe when we're putting stuff in and out of the oven. And then the last thing we're going to color, these are measuring cups. Remember up here we had measuring spoons? Well, these are cups and they measure liquid that we put into recipes. So I'm going to make these blue. I might do another color too. You know, you can color whichever color you want with them. Make them fun. Do more than one color if you want. But in recipes, and those are how we make stuff, those are how we make different cakes and cupcakes and meals. The recipe comes with a measurement and it tells you like how much water you should put in your recipe or how much milk. And sometimes it's something like a whole cup of milk should go into your recipe. And you don't want to just use the measuring spoons for that. You want to have a big measuring cup for that. So that's what we use the measuring cups for. And today, whoops, I have a runaway paper. For our final lesson, we're going to figure out how many measuring cups we have here. So let's count them together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven total measuring cups. And then we have to find the seven down here. So the first number we have is seven, eight, and six, and we found seven of them. And so we count that in, or we, sorry, we color that in. And now your paper is complete. So we learned a little bit about how we measure with recipes and what to use oven mitts for. And so um, you can look at this sheet and enjoy it and tell other people what you learned. And I'll see you next time at Koala Corner for Culinary Arts. Bye-bye.